Be no black folks and basically we got some animation here as you can see and as you see we know the suns and the super giants stay where they're at and as you see what we are doing now in whatever we are travel through space and time whether we've been here before or not we pretty much have big bangs uh, there wasn't just a big bang uh, so as you will see here you'll get more than one sun because the sun doesn't move backwards and forwards at us could but the idea we know we have more than one sun because we have the super giants okay so here's some animation for you and it's always going to be in the future no matter whether a Beano is here or another elder is not here on the face of the earth to help you out you always do certain things at certain times of a 24-hour period okay travel so forth and so on uh, because of daylight sun heat okay Basically, there's suns and the supergiants, and there is the ring of fire, earthquakes, and so forth and so on. And we know that Bino is pretty much, with a lot of scientists before Bino too, otherwise I wouldn't know crap, okay? We always learn from our elders, okay? We have these areas out here, and there's way more than just this, because there's this huge, and there's your dolphin, folks. If you do not believe that there is a power greater than anything, there is, no matter what, you name anything okay so there's your dolphin the dolphin of the Gulf of Mexico ladies and gentlemen there's a good motel down there and it's way more than one dolphin it's a motel hotel bring a briefcase uh, full of something to wear and cute girls are nice so anyway you've got what I was telling you about radiation from uh, Fuka Fudge Up. This is a map. And it'll flop over either south or north and propagate over where you do not see here Chernobyl. Okay? Rad CPM will always go to Rad CPM. Okay? This is the Ring of Fire volcanoes and so forth over in Japan. There's a decent site, and thanks for putting it up. Okay, you can go out and search this. Bino doesn't drop names, he just searches, okay? Lots of things connect. This volcano's uh, mother nature. There's your dolphin, folks. And there's many other features on the face of Earth that are out there. You just gotta look at Earth. So, and it's, Earth isn't gonna go away for a long time, okay? Go look at North America. Show other features of Earth. You have what we have here is a man, no matter what. You know it's a male. And you know it wears certain things. And it carries certain tools. If you can't see that right there, you're blind. Okay, let's go down and look at the temperatures. So you know, Bino is Bino. There's your data on temperatures for the day. Harp exists. Dutch is not all wrong. The earthquake is the 188 pretty much close dead on data that something's going to happen and probably might not be the last big quake we get. If it is the biggest one we get in the 188 day cycle, which is predominantly known, this is all mad not this is all material in space. It's not magic, okay? It's magnetic energy. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at more of North America as we share the data with you for the day of the temperatures and then we can zoom back in and if you've seen my video before you'll see you have a face here okay no matter what etched it Iceland is a dragon Norway and with our other friends right here you got those two names there I don't drop too many names that often but we have our otter or our beaver right there Okay, you can't miss that. We have the lion's head of Greenland, which we call Greenland because someone was smart enough to say that it would be Greenland to get people to go to an icy area. And if you've seen, there is melt warmth of a few thousand years right now because there's the Indian chief. There's many other holograms of things in North America. 
Okay. But anyway, I showed you this before. People don't like people knowing about it. Uh, girls get chased around with diapers that worked for this or that and realize that the idea that there was something, there's something, there's always something, folks. Open your mind up. There's the chief. War bonnet. Can't miss it. And nature lets you know every day because nature will show you it. So there's the chief at the bonnet. There's also the eagle that flies high every day in North America. And if you don't think that that does, the U.S. Air Force will show you anybody. There's the eagle that flies high every day right there on the war bonnet. The lion's head and the lion's tongue right there, the little island out there in Chain Islands. In the middle of the night, there you go. And it's a male. And that might be a medicine sack. And if it is, it always makes another little munchkin here on Earth. Okay, so there's lots of stuff in North America. You can go look around and you can look at Earth from all over the place. You've got another face there. There's lots of faces. It's always a sign to something up high that we're here. If you weren't on an island and you were deserted, you would make a shape somewhere on Earth on your island to make one of the planes flying over hopefully find you on Gilligan's Island. Earth has a lot of stuff, though. If there's something up there. But once I've showed you with all the satellites before, we have over 18,000 satellites up there. I don't think anybody wants to come down here. We look pretty formidably... Uh, mean no matter what we are not wanting anybody to come in because those satellites scare anything away if there's something out there and Bino says UFO you're fucked over and that's exactly what that means UIFO and you'll be hearing UIFO more if it's an unidentified flying object then you might actually have something otherwise you just have planets in space and in time that propagate heat and electrical energy from the sun and the supergiants and a lot of stuff in space gives us heat like this and we had record highs yesterday and it's not even the hardest the hottest period of the day because it's only 136 central time and we have 84 degrees in up in Detroit okay and uh, when I get into regional areas uh, I don't want to apologize too much. I try to generate so that the idea when I have to come and have a beer sometime, nobody gets all bent out of shape because I said their city's name wrong or something like that. So anyway, we've got all these lakes up here that are colder than crap all the time, and you get a breeze off there. It's cool. you got a lot of heat up there right now. 84 and rising because it's not the hottest point of the day, and you got all these temperatures. Plot is not lying to you. You can go check any weather thing that you want to and this is one that is well known it's intelligent okay and it shows you exactly what's going on alright so there's your temperatures from the day and also pictures of fact that basically when you go and you look at North America you will see that nobody wants to mess with North America because we got some scary images up there, folks. Scares anything away. Okay. Don't mess with the eagle. Because the chief's got his war bonnet on every day. There's the chief. He's smiling and we laughing and I'm a talking. There's a lion's face. There's a lion's mouth and the tongue. And there's the eagle of North America north the world on top the eagle the big eagle Bino spreading truth don't mess with the eagle now real quickly folks you will see here that the idea that they can zoom in you see that so there's a star cluster out there that they're looking at and zooming in on there there's lots of little because there's millions of I'm not gonna say how many cameras but there's lots of cameras on these satellites folks okay 
So take your wild guess, okay? There's the meatball. This is a recent shot on the 20th. There's the meatball. There's Mercury. There's Venus. And there's the sun and the supergiants over to the right. And Peaky Poo, they're looking at something in that area up there, okay? And let's show you Earth. Okay, now this is a weekly. So check it out. And you'll see everything here, and everything's pretty much marked. And I'll give you another shot here in a minute. The world Earth will be where I'll point at, and it's it's actually marked real lightly. You'll be able to see it. So check this out as you see all this action in space and sun and the supergiants, okay? And remember, there's some space in between here, okay? Because you know how big the sun is, okay? And you give you a little idea. There's a little, just a Sechi emblem. We'll show you that. And then you got the meatball over here, which is humongous. We've got Mercury, Venus, okay? And you got the other shot on the other side. You got to remember this, okay? This is the other shot. This is B behind, and this is A over here, and they just basically put it together to try to give you a three. They're not giving you a 360, you see, folks? You're not getting 360. Now, pay attention like where I almost had it froze. Did that freeze there, too? We'll show you the supergiants exist because they're in between here. These are two shots put together. The sun and the supergiants exist because you see this up here. This is huge, right? See all this electrical coming off and going out into space? And see how huge? It's not just the sun, folks. The sun is pretty much what it looks like when you got the cover-up thing that covers up just the sun, okay? The supergiants exist, and they're all over the place up there, okay? Okay, let me take you to the other shot here in a minute. You had enough of this. You can back up the video on this, okay? I'll let it play real fast, and you can back up the video and watch this again. Saving video time. And here is the action from up to date to the 22nd, okay? And remember, it's UTC time, folks, so this is all real stuff, okay? Real fresh. And remember, going back, let's go look at this. And remember, layers and then the flashlight of the sun and the supergiants opens stuff up and shows you things because more than likely, it's still CME action coming off the sun, but it sure kind of looks like it lights stuff up, doesn't it? That there's something there. And there it is layers and layers and layers, folks. And all kinds of different layers. You see all kinds of different objects. And it is crowded out there in space, folks. There's tons of stuff out in space, okay? And you also see something there also. This is a CME. All of this here is a CME coming off the sun, but it's a damn good light bulb to turn the lights on, off, on and off out there in space and let you see stuff. And then when you zoom in, you can see all the brightness of all the stars. And they zoom in on that cluster there, and it can, it can zoom out on just about a square, 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 square all over here, folks. I'm not saying how many cameras are there. Okay, meatball is there for sure. And you got Mercury and Venus there. Okay, so we go from our temperature plots to this, the radar. You can go to all the ghosts and to get different satellite pictures and so forth. But it's nice to see where the moisture is going to be hitting you on Earth. And once again, right here, and then there, I remind everybody of the weight of any moisture and rain you get. I haven't paid attention if it's raining there or not. It's warm. Uh, cold front hitting a warm front and then we've seen the temperature plot before so watch out remember if you hear a train in your area if you hear a train in your area watch out for a tornado and that's what you get from all this space weather up there in space you get this wild weather down here on earth okay so down here you got the radar for the day and as you can see what they get to play with uh harp exists Weather modification exists, and there's the moisture that they can play with and try to squeeze out of the clouds down onto Earth. So watch out for whatever weather you have in your area. And basically, we need moisture because it's hot all over the world. Remember, you got front and back. H is A ahead, and B is B behind, and there you got Earth right here, okay? And then you got Saturn up there, and you also got Mer Mercury, I believe, okay? And you got Mars right there, okay? So let this play. And you'll see CME, CME action from the Sun and the Supergiants. There's your CME action. It's coming from this direction on A, okay? I'll start it over again, and you'll see CME action coming off the Sun over here in the Supergiants. You see that over here? It's huge. And we don't get hit it enough with anything and remember that big old uh 
mass 48 or whatever is out there, whatever mass number that be.